Hey, I spent most of today running errands and also playing Diablo 3 on Switch. I had a friend of mine sent me a donation, so I was able to get it for about $30. However, when I came back, there were a lot of uh, gossipings about a patch for this. And uh, the patch notes for this are very much like the ones that uh, Nintendo had for Smash Bros. 4. Where it's like, they didn't detail anything and the community had to pretty much comb through the entire game's content and figure out what was changed. That's very much what's happening here. Uh, I actually got these tips from a Korean streamer that I watch who streams in the morning my time. He's like a, a hardcore Musou fan like I am. So the first thing that changed is uh, Soonsei has his Tonfa cancel back. This definitely makes him a lot better. Because I've already talked about in length in my uh, my shortcomings video how the the Aegy Dash with the tech types of the Dynasty Warriors uh, sections or, or categories aren't very useful, and now he can do this. Also, I haven't tested everybody. I've tested about four characters, and they all seem to be doing more damage with the EX attacks, and they also proc fire as well. You can see the fire there. That's not something that would normally happen. Now Ling Tong is pretty much the same deal. Even Zhu Xu has it. So, I, I'm, I'm assume it's going to take some time before the community actually knows the full extent of what was changed. These are just the things that I've been tipped off about, and that I've noticed as well. Now, there's also a new option to sort everybody by force. So I can see all the shoe guys here, way... Woo, and so on and so forth. Pretty useful. It makes it a lot easier to find the characters that you want, and you can also customize it more to go by like force and then sacred treasure. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> it's my first time trying it. Now, also, the uh, the gods characters also got alternate sacred treasures. I assume this was done because they're uh, they're not a part of the the season pass at all. Everybody else is. They all have the same six. They're all kind of distributed among the same 16 sacred treasures, but they have their own unique ones. So now they have these uh, alternate ones as well. Still not a fan of their move sets, but this is a pretty, pretty nice of them to do. I mean, they didn't have to do this. I'll let someone who uh, actually likes those characters test them further. So right now, I will go ahead and do a field test with these characters, and you can actually see, you can actually see them uh, proc fire or proc elements on their uh, their attacks. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty beastly team right there. It's like Team Wu and Team Martial Arts. I don't have Cheat Engine up, so I'm not going to be forcing uh, Pandemonium Mode at this time, but you definitely still be able to notice the difference in how much damage they do. That's significantly more damage than before.
Like that actually propped elements, which is shocking. Let's go find a fresh officer so I can show it again. <clears throat> so like I said, like none of this stuff is mentioned in the uh, the patch notes at all. The only thing that's mentioned is that they have the extra sacred treasures. That they're taking a note from Nintendo, making the community actually <laughs> find all the stuff that they changed. These are actually really cool things. I'm sure more things will be discovered probably throughout the next few days, but these are just the observations that i found that I've been tipped off about as well. You can even see it on Sunsei's uh, moveset. It says you can backstep if you press X during a charge attack. So I'm gonna back out and do a little uh, mid-video science experiment here. I wonder if Yue Jin got his, uh, his sidestep attacks back. No, he still can't do it. <laughs> so that that's unfortunate. I, I guess they didn't wanna they didn't wanna be too kind to all the the cool characters that have shitty movesets. But this is a step in the right direction. I mean, this is definitely fixing one of the, at least partially fixing one of the biggest problems with this game is that a lot of the EX attacks either don't proc elements or do no damage or both. And now they seem to be doing pretty significant damage. Like, I even one-shot an officer on um, DLC 1 with Ling Tong's first EX attack. So I think this is a pretty big change. I'm sure... The people who are doing the tier lists and stuff are probably not happy that they have to <laughs> go ahead and rework everything, but this is, this is good for the community. Now the other half of the cast isn't such a, uh, they aren't at such a disadvantage anymore, and they're more fun to play. So, I will probably do some more of my old teams. Uh, pretty much all my teams involve Dynasty Warriors characters, for the most part, so uh, I'll probably go back and do some more of those on uh, Pandemonium with the cheat engine code to just force it and not have to worry about the RNG. So uh, I'll probably change my plans a little bit this week, and I'll try to get some more of those out. So I'll probably go and redo some of the old ones. Anyway, let me know if you guys find any other discoveries, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.